Welcome to RD Cloud Compute. In this video, I will cover how to install Globalscape EFT server. EFT server is an enterprise file transfer server. So just double click on the EFT setup file. It's a simple straightforward installation, just next, next. So yeah, click next and agree license agreement. So there are three options. You can install a standalone server or an active passive application cluster or an active active application cluster. So I'm going to install a stand, uh, standalone version. Uh, use the default uh, path for an application program files and data path. If you want, you can change that one. Click next. So we need to create a username and password. This will be an EFT's local username and password. So later you can uh, reconfigure the uh, EFT to use Active Directory or LDAP or RADIUS authentications. So I'm going to create a user. So this user will have a full admin access uh, on the EFT application. Yeah, and select a password. Yep, click next. Yeah, you can select an audit and reporting ARM is an optional feature. It just helps you to identify what's happening to, to capture the audit and reports. So yeah, I'm going to use this one and the ARM data it needs a database. You can use a SQL Express uh, shipped with this software or you can use an Oracle or a SQL standalone uh, your licensed version of the software database. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, it will create a default SA username and password. It automatically installed SQL Express 2017. Yeah, the database SQL Server installation completed. Now it will automatically proceed with the rest of the installation. Installing the EFT software. It's installed. I'm going to start the interfa admin interface and start this enterprise service. Yeah. Um, yeah. Since I'm in the EFT local server, use a local host, and you need to log in with the EFT authentication, the e default username and password created during the installation, which is RD ad CC admin in my case, and the password which you yeah that's it we are installed standalone version if you have a license key enter the serial number to activate the licensed features or it will comes with the default 30 days trial edition i'm gonna click on the start trial yeah, if you are migrating from a previous version you can use this wizard to restore the backup from a previous configuration backups i'm gonna set up a new server so i'm just gonna ignore that one and click next Yeah, this is FIPS additional cipher securities. If you uh, system or a company needs this kind of requirement, you can enable this one for an SFTP and SSL encryptions. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this default and click next. Yeah, if you have multiple IPs assigned to a system, you if you wanna use a specific IP address for a uh, management port have a specific IP address or interface you can uh, choose uh, dedicated ones but I'm gonna leave it as all incoming IPs so click next if you want to use an SSL encryption as a, for a remote administration you can select but I'm gonna leave it default yeah, enable auditing I'm gonna use auditing feature enabled and it will be stored in the SQL Express database I will leave everything to default it's a windows authentication it will use automatically created database username and passwords and the logs will be rotated uh, every seven days if that database is offline the logs will be stored in the offline file yeah i'm not going to use an smtp feature if you have a smtp server just configure them that's it run us now we are done this next wizard automatically creates a site the site eft site is basically a 
set of policies you can apply to work, uh, that particular rules or uh, um, create a security uh, policies for a specific uh, site uh, it can be an your internal site for an internal file transfer an external one for an external file transfer or it can be a development one test one on productions you can segregate them and sub apply a dif different policies yeah i'm going it will store the site specific configuration in this one and in this you can choose to uh, for a windows authentication on eft authentication uh, for a user creation i will use windows active directory authentication and i'm not don't want to use any advanced authentication or a second level authentication so click next if you want you can use radius or mfps yeah that's fine yeah you can test your uh, specific username and password or groups for an authentication which you want to allow so i'm going to select specify a group domain admins to just test yeah i got only one default administrator in the domain administrator group that's fine i'll leave the rest of the options to default yeah i will stick with the nt4 account names if you want to use c names or use up epn names as i said a user refresh interval from the ad it fetches the user list automatically let's just leave it to default click next so yeah emc d uh, so dmc gateway is a additional f uh, feature or a se secondary software which gives an additional security when connecting to internet but i don't uh, in this one we, we are not going to cover that one so i'm going to skip the next so here you can select what are the protocols you want to allow or use for eft for a file transfer so i'm going to select ftp F sftp ftps yeah since we selected ftp and sftps we need to give an ssl certificate you, if you have a dedicated certificate created for it you can use it uh, the certificate from your ca or an external ca um, but i'm going to create an self signed cert uh, certificate for this one yeah select the expiry date and the certificate name the first phrase is the default values for the city name ou so all fields are mandatory so yeah next certificate formats yeah it will be stored as crt file and key files it will be stored in your program data directory yeah um, these are the port numbers if you want to change of okay, these for default port numbers you can specify and the sftp key if you have a key created for sftp server you can such a selected one or you can create one self signed here yeah i'm going to use a self signed one set a fast phrase the next yeah create a host key that's it next yeah this at ports it will be using it if you want you can change it that's it we have successfully installed the enter eft uh, server um yeah you can see the server status is running and all other license and other stuffs in the status screen i'm not going to cover how to configure rules or how to transfer files in this video it's just an installation set up uh, uh, video i will cover in another video for how to set up a transfer rules and connect the dmc gateway to this we have yeah 
everything looks good you can change these port numbers and certificate details and everything later if you miss to configure anything yeah since we don't created any dmc gateways it's not connected so it's not connected yeah here is the overall status of license and number of users and downloads upload speeds current transfer rates everything you can monitor in status if you want to enter the license key later you can go to help activate eftp enterprise and enter the serial number you got from globalscape yeah i don't have one now so just gonna cancel it if you want you can generate reports of how many files transfer what type of files transferred so this VF is a virtual file system and where you, it stores all the user home directories. Yeah, that's all we for the end of the video. Thank you for watching.